Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Finally, I got my hands on this brand new Samsung Galaxy Watch 3 45mm and today I'll unbox it and provide you with my first impressions and detailed specs review. So let's get started. If it's your first time on my channel, please consider subscribing as I do regular videos for various smartwatches like this one, smartphone reviews, tech tutorials and much more. I have an entire playlist full of Samsung smartwatch videos which you'll find it in the playlist tab as well as linked at the end of this video as it contains a lot of detailed videos which will work for this Galaxy Watch 3 and I'll be referencing it throughout this video so go ahead and check it out once you're done watching this one. Now you saw on the title about a free giveaway teaser and that is correct Urarity a watch face developer who designs premium watch faces like this one has sponsored few giveaways of their premium watch faces on this channel which you can check it out in the video descriptions. So Urarity and I are working on a giveaway of their latest elegant premium watch face to the subscribers of this channel so I don't want you guys to miss out on it. It looks exceptionally premium on my Galaxy Watch 3 so make sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notification as the giveaway video will be live in few days. So with that being said, let's start with unboxing of this latest Galaxy Watch 3. Now since I pre-ordered it from their website, they provided this wireless charger duo pad listed at $139.99 Canadian dollar for absolutely free. That is what I really like about pre-ordering from their website just like I got this 10,000 mAh power bank when I pre-ordered my Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2 for which I have done an in-depth review linked in the card sections. You can check it out once you're done watching this one. So let's quickly open this Charger Duo pad and see its content. It includes this wireless charging pad. An adaptive fast charging brick. And the USB-C charging cable. Believe me, I really use it every single day to charge my phone and the watch wirelessly at the same time. And it does fast charge both the devices simultaneously and that is impressive. Okay, that being said, let's have a look at the Galaxy Watch 3 box, which seems like they have adapted the elongated Apple style packaging. Versus the minimalistic box packaging of the Galaxy Watch Active 2. Either way, it does give a premium feel versus the Active 2 packaging. Now I'll be also unboxing the Active 2 after the Galaxy Watch 3 to give you the perspective of the difference in terms of the experience. Let's open the Galaxy Watch 3 first. Right off the back, the watch is laid flat along the box. And as usual, all the paperwork is hidden under the cover. Let's see the content of it. This is the quick start guide which most of you will not even read through. Moving on, it's the wireless charger. Here are the details of the charger in case if you are looking for it. But the charger is just identical to the Active 2's wireless charger. Speaking of Active 2, let's open it up. So the Active 2 is laid around this pommel which contains the charger. And as I said earlier, it's just identical. Now let's have a look at both of these watches side by side. By the way, just looking at the Galaxy Watch 3, it definitely looks premium. The stitches on the genuine leather band really pops out. So you can see that the Galaxy Watch 3 is a carryover of the original Galaxy Watch 46mm design and it looks bold and imposing versus the Active 2 as the name implies looks more geared towards an active lifestyle with sleek looks. From the side, Galaxy Watch 3 does look a little bit bulkier than the Active 2. 
The microphone on Galaxy Watch 3 is camouflaged under the center bulge. Now at the back, they both look identical. And on the side, the speaker grille is slightly different on both. It's more prominent on the Active 2 though. The buttons of the Galaxy Watch 3 are more prominent versus Active 2, has a more contemporary button design. Now let's have some close up looks at the Galaxy Watch 3. The leather belt really feels premium, it's very lightweight. Now with unboxing being done, the setup process is just identical to the Galaxy Watch Active 2 for which I have done a video linked up here which you can check it out once you are done watching this one. If you want to pair this Galaxy Watch 3 with your iPhone and want to know how it will work and function, it will be just like the Active 2 for which I have already done a video linked up here and you can check it out once you are done watching this one. So I have my Galaxy Watch set up and ready to go. So my first impressions are that it does feel premium. The overall build quality, the extremely lightweight genuine leather band, the awesome physical rotating bezel, highly tactile button, all feels premium. But this all comes at a whopping cost of $599.99 Canadian dollars. Now the one I have is Mystic Silver 45mm. There is also a Mystic Black in 45mm. Now if you find this too expensive, there is a Galaxy Watch 3 41mm which comes in Mystic Bronze and Mystic Silver and it will cost you $549.99 Canadian dollar. The only difference between 45 and 41mm is the overall size and the screen real estate. So if you have smaller wrist than mine, you probably want to go with 41mm. To give you perspective, my wrist circumference precisely is 15cm and you can see that the 45mm looks good but it's on the verge of being bulky. On the other hand, the Active 2 that I have is 44mm and you can see it looks pretty good. So the choice is yours. There is an LTE version which is not yet available in Canada. As soon as it is, I'll post it in the video description. The Active 2 44mm that I have costs only $369.99 Canadian dollar. So I know this will raise a question in your mind which one to buy. Is the Galaxy Watch 3 45mm worth the extra $230 Canadian dollar over the Galaxy Watch Active 2? From my preliminary data, I can say that they both are pretty much the same except some obvious differences like the apparent design and looks the physical rotating bezel versus the digital rotating bezel, 8 gigs of internal storage versus 4 gigs of internal storage and few minor differences, they are both identical. So to me the Watch 3 has more professional office looks versus Active 2 as the name implies has more of a sporty sleek look. So the choice is yours to put that extra $230 or not. Either way, make sure you subscribe as I will be doing a full video for the differences between both these watches. Anyways, let's go through some specs of this Galaxy Watch 3 45mm. This is powered by a 340mAh battery size. Check this video out about settings that would take this watch to about 5 days of battery life once you are done watching this one. This watch runs on Samsung's proprietary Tizen OS and has an Exynos 9110 processor with a dual core 1.15 GHz CPU and Mali T720 GPU. All the above specs are the same for the Galaxy Watch Active 2 but the Watch 3 has a bump up in the internal storage from 4 gigs to 8 gigs of internal storage. So you can store more onboard music and pictures. By the way, check this video out to learn how to transfer music and songs on this watch right from your phone once you are done watching this one. The RAM of the Watch 3 is also bumped up to 1 gigs as per my research. Now let me point out a slight confusion that the Galaxy Watch Active 2 has only 750 megabytes of RAM. Some websites will show that Active 2 has a 1.5 gig of RAM 
but that is not 100% true. Only Galaxy Watch Active 2 LTE version has the 1.5 gig of RAM as per their website. Now does that make any difference? Absolutely not. They both feel snappy and fast despite of the differences. You will not feel any noticeable difference when you use it. In terms of the display, Watch 3 has a 1.4 inch Super AMOLED capacitive touch with 360 by 360 pixel, 364 pixel density, protected by a Corning Gorilla Glass DX. The screen of the Watch 3 is less likely to be scratched as it is sunken under the raised mechanical rotating bezel, which in my opinion is another advantage over the Active 2. The Watch 3 has Bluetooth 5.0, Wi-Fi 802.11, built-in GPS with GLONASS, Galileo and BDS, NFC for Samsung Pay, IP68 for 50 meter water resistance, it also has a military 810G standard rating, the exact dimensions are 46.2 by 45 by 11.1 mm. It has heart rate sensor, but again sadly despite of having an ECG and blood pressure sensor, both these features are not yet available anywhere except South Korea. Come on Samsung, you promised ECG on the launch of Active 2 in early 2020 and here we are half the way in 2020 and it's still not available despite of having another iteration of Galaxy Variable. In terms of sensors, there is accelerometer, gyroscope and barometer. The Watch 3 has G wireless charging, so yes, I can charge it from back of my Samsung smartphone. It has a built-in speaker and a microphone to take Bluetooth audio calls. In terms of wristbands, the Galaxy Watch 3 comes with a genuine leather band which is interchangeable. It's a 22mm band, so I can use the band of my Huawei Watch GT2 or Fossil Gen 5. Anyways, I have linked some cool wristband to spice up the looks in the description of this video. So this watch has all the bells and whistles to keep it up to the top of the line smartwatch experience. All the apps, watch face and games that work on Active 2 will also work on this Galaxy Watch 3 and I have an entire playlist full of its videos linked at the end of this video so make sure to save it so you can watch all those videos later on and I bet you will find them extremely helpful. With that being said, that is it for today's video. Make sure to subscribe as I don't want you to miss out on that upcoming giveaway. And either way, subscribing to this channel, you will make sure that you don't miss out any upcoming smartwatch. So I really hope you found this video helpful. If you did, then please give this video a thumbs up. It really means a lot. Also, follow me on my other social media networks for early preview to upcoming videos and free giveaways. Links are in the description of all my videos. Thanks so much for watching and take care. I'll catch you guys in the next one.